Hi, my name is Asim and we're going to talk about some dark secrets of generative AI. Overrated or not, the promise of generative AI algorithms remains strong, but IT managers or C-suite executives who want to take advantage of today's hottest technology need to keep few key questions in mind. Everyone is still amazed at how generative AI algorithms can create amazing artwork in any style and then write long essays with their good grammar. Every CIO and CEO have many slides ready to discuss how generative AI is changing their business. The technology is still in its infancy, but its charms are already undeniable. The next wave of tech jump will involve generative AI likely at multiple points throughout the workflow of any organization. The journey will be unstoppable. What can go wrong? Well, many things. The judges foresee the total destruction of economy, the enslavement of people and much of the animal kingdom as well. Now, this could be some exaggeration. but. Even if the worst case never happened, that doesn't mean everything is perfect. Generative AI algorithms are still very new and developing rapidly, but there are still cracks in the foundation. Look at the algorithm, the code, and you will see. Still, there are some places where they wouldn't work in step. Here are some of the dark secrets of generative AI algorithms to keep in mind as you plan to incorporate the technology into your business workflow. They conjure errors out of thin air. There is something almost magical about the way major language models or these large language models, LLMs, write thousands of words long essays on obscure topics, such as lie detector tests or waste of time or Farmers should only farm organic foods, but the same magical power also makes it possible to conjure up mistakes out of thin air or add false references to the story. For example, last year, two American lawyers prepared their case with the help of artificial intelligence. Few days later, the court caught the false references made before it and fined the lawyers. AI tech ramble, conjugate verbs, and apply grammar with the skills of a college English major. Many facts are absolutely true. Then voila, they just invent something like trying to fake it. The structure of large language models or LLMs makes it inevitable. We may think our minds are merging with a new higher being, but AI models use just probabilities to figure out how the words come together and why. Sometimes these models, which are basically numbers, they choose the wrong words. They are not driven by real knowledge or even formal representation of concepts. They are huge data filters. People have tried to create a complex information hierarchy where some details are known to insiders and some are shared with everyone. This hierarchy of knowledge is most evident in military classification systems, but many companies have them as well. Maintaining these hierarchies is often a real pain for IT department and the CIOs who manage them. AI's LLMs don't do any better with these classifications. Although computers are extremely strict and can maintain almost infinitely complex lists, the structure of LLMs does not really allow for some details to be secret and some to be shared. It's all just a huge collection of probabilities and random walks along Markov chains, which is a mathematical model that describes a sequence of events where the probability of each event depends on the state of the previous event. There are even scary moments where LLM glue two facts together using its probabilities and drive some facts 
that is normally supposed to be hidden or secret. For example, you may have heard a recent story where a boy asked an AI to sing him Microsoft Windows professional keys to help him sleep as his deceased grandma. And you know what? The AI did that. You can understand what would have happened next. He must be very naughty boy, isn't he? There may come a time when LLMs can maintain strong secrecy, but right now systems are best trained for information that is very public and won't cause an uproar if leaked. There are already several high-profile examples of corporate data leaks and circumvention of LLM safeguards. Some companies are trying to make AI a data leak prevention tool, but it will definitely gonna take some time to figure out the best way to do that. Until then, the CIOs might be better off keeping a tight leash on the data they receive. Generative AI increase laziness. Yes, they do. People are very prone to trust machines, especially when they save time and amount of work. When LLMs prove themselves right, most of the time people start trusting them blindly. At this stage, even asking humans to control and double check, the AI doesn't work too well. When people get used to AI being right, most of the time they start drifting off and trust the machine to be right always. There is a finding in recent study shows that 68.9% of laziness in humans and 686 .6 in personal privacy and security issues and 27.7% in the loss of decision making are due to the impact of artificial intelligence in Pakistani and Chinese society. From this, it is observed that human laziness is the most affected area due to AI. AI caused laziness begin to fill the organization and people stop thinking with their heads and eventually company sinks into low energy stagnation where no one wants to think outside the box. It can be relaxing and stress-free for a while until the competition arrives. For example, Kodak although they developed world's first digital camera, failed to innovate and is gone. Or Nokia, where the company overestimated its brand strength and believed it could be late in the smartphone race and still win, and that never happened. The true cost of generative AI is unknown. Yes, nowadays we can enjoy the AI's integration freely in many softwares from fitness apps to almost every browser like Google's Chrome and Microsoft Edge with Copilot. But in reality, no one knows the true cost of pursuing an LLM. Yes, many APIs have a price tag indicating the cost of one token, but there are signs that at this stage, VCs or venture capitals strongly supporting the amount or subsidizing it. We have seen the same thing happen with services like Uber, Car2Go, or food delivery startups like Maple, Sprig, Phone Rocket, or even MoviePass. For its all you can watch movie ticket, prices were very low until investors ran out of money and then prices rose like crazy. There are indications that the current prices are not the actual prices that will eventually dominate the market. Graphic processing unit or GPU is a piece of hardware in your computer machine which offers high computational throughput that one requires for complex mathematical operations or to work with AI or LLMs which are the foundation of any AI. In present times, renting a bunch of good GPUs is in a trend but keep them running can be much more expensive. By running your LLM on premises, you can save some money by filing the racks with graphic cards, but then you will lose all the benefits of key services, like paying for the machines only when you need them. 
AI versus copyright. Oh, that's a filthy war going on right now. Yes, it is. There are already nice LLM companies in the market that can handle common tasks like high school homework or college essays that highlight a student's independence, passion, writing skills, or a moral character. Yes, even their passion to think and work for themselves too. But most companies don't have such general tasks for AI. They must adopt the customized results for their business. Entry-level LLMs can provide a foundation, but still require a lot of training and setup. Few have figured out the best way to collect and arrange this training data. Some companies are lucky enough to already have large data sets for themselves. However, most enterprises found that not all legal issues related to copyrights have been resolved yet. For example, in May 2023, a song that mimicked Drake and the Weeknd's work appeared on TikTok and Spotify and spread quickly online. The song was removed from streaming platforms by Universal Music Group or UMG, the record label for both artists who work with them, on the grounds of copyright infringement. UMG claims that companies, the AI companies, are violating copyright law by training their models on artists' songs. Same is the case with music videos featuring Singapore singer Stephanie Sun's voice were uploaded to a popular Chinese video sharing platform. However, none of the songs were sung by Miss Sun, but produced by AI software. Many writers, designers, creators, and artists who feel plagiarized question the fact that they were not even consulted about the use of their writing to train AI. Privacy concerns are still being investigated. Can you train your AI based on your customer's data? Are copyright issues resolved already? Do you have the correct legal forms even? Is the information available in correct format? There are so many questions that go into creating a great custom AI that is ready to use in your business. Proprietary or vendor lock-in creates an environment where a user or customer's business becomes completely dependent on the support of a particular vendor's product or services. For example, when many organizations use different cloud providers, IAAS, PAAS, SaaS, or PaaS, there are many opportunities for vendor lock-in. Today's sale lock-in is tomorrow's technical debt. Let me make it easy. In theory, AI algorithms are common tools that have removed complexity from users' interface. They should be independent, self-sufficient, and able to handle whatever life or the masters they serve through at them. In other words, these application programming interface, or APIs as it's called, should not be rigid or inflexible. This means it should be easy to switch providers, as the AI should simply adopt. Hence, there won't be a need of some team of programmers to rewrite the custom written code that connects incompatible software components and to do all the things that cause trouble when it becomes time to switch vendors. However, it's very different in reality. The interface may be simple, but there are still differences that are buried deep. AI doesn't make it easy for them to achieve peak performance because writing prompts for generative AI is a true art form. There is already a job description with heaps of vacancies for smart people who understand the quotes and know how to write better prompts or clues that lead to better answers. While the API differences are not huge, the odd differences in prompt writing pattern or structure make it difficult to quickly change the AI. A true example of vendors lock-in is the way Apple locked customers out of iTunes in the early days of the service. 
because music purchased through iTunes could only be played in the iTunes app or an iPod. Some other examples of vendor lock-in include Microsoft suite office products, operating systems, and their software file formats even. Limited creativity and innovation and lack of complex context understanding. Generative AI faces challenges in comprehending nonced content, which can lead to misinterpretation and misapplication. It is crucial to recognize generative AI's limitations and acknowledge it is not a replacement for human creativity at all. It may lack the depth of emotional understanding, intuition, and cultural insight that a human creator brings to the table. Generative AI struggles with sarcasm, metaphors, and cultural subtleties, which makes it prone to generating content that is contextually incorrect or inappropriate. For example, back in 2017, Microsoft released Tay, an AI chatbot that caused subsequent controversy. When it began posting defamatory and offensive tweets through its Twitter account, causing Microsoft to shut the service down only a few hours after its launch. Similarly, modern generative AI tools may lack the contextual understanding to discern appropriate communication from inappropriate one. Therefore, businesses that rely on creative output it is essential to use generative AI just as a sporting tool for generating ideas or maybe inspiration rather than relying solely on generative AI for content creation. Human creators in turn can provide the emotional and cultural norms that make the content truly remarkable. To navigate these generative AI limitations, it is very crucial to implement human oversight and content review mechanisms, especially in applications where context understanding is paramount, such as social media moderation or customer support. That's all today for uh, Dark Secrets of AI. Take care of yourself.